Surely one of the stars of the show here is the 1983 Ferrari 126C3. Ferrari had a very tumultuous 1982 season with uh, the death of Gilles Villeneuve and a crash for Didier Peroni. And it was really a season of trying to catch up with everybody else. And this 126C3 was their first carbon fibre chassis car. It was uh, designed by Harvey Postlethwaite, the uh, famous for his connection with Heskus back in the 70s. And it really was, they, they were on a big, big learning curve with this car. And um, it was actually late into the season, but when it did arrive, it was a race winner. This is chassis 086. So this car didn't actually get used until the Austrian Grand Prix mid-season when René Arnoux took it to second place. And uh, from then on, a week, two weeks later, Arnoux actually went and won the Dutch Grand Prix. Now there's a little bit of confusion as to whether that really was chassis 068 he used for that race or not, because um, one very highly respected course, Auto Hebdo themselves, and a couple of publications actually have that chassis number as listed the car he used. Other places don't. So uh, slightly confused race history for 068, but this is a car that has scored points. And that season, Arnoux came third in the Drivers' Championship, Patrick Tombe was fourth, and Ferrari actually won the Constructors' title. So this is a fantastic car. It's got that V6 turbocharged Ferrari engine in the back. And uh, so for the rest of the season, this was actually the test car. But uh, since then, it's been in a few owners. But since 2001, it has been in a museum in Brittany and is now on the market and is a fantastic piece of 1980s Formula One history that is up for sale here. So how much? £600,000 to, sorry, €600,000 to a million euros is the estimate. So it's going to be interesting to see what this car goes for.